It's confident computing number 834. Is the cloud safe? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for askleo.com with this week's video summary of my weekly emailed newsletter, Confident Computing. If you're not already a subscriber and you're not already getting Confident Computing in your inbox, head to newsletter.askleo.com and you can sign up and start getting it every Tuesday. This week, our featured article is in fact, is the cloud safe? It's one of those things that I think a lot of people misunderstand because there are a lot of negative headlines about breaches and data loss and people don't understand exactly how the cloud works without realizing that in fact they've probably been using the cloud for 20 or 30 or more years already. The cloud is really nothing new. It's just a marketing term for our online services that we've all come to use and use safely. So of course the answer is the cloud can be used safely, but to be fair, it's kind of on you to know the steps to do so. Also this week, I take issue with one of those common recommendations that people make without really understanding why they make it. It's a very common scenario for password changes to be forced on you even every 30 or 90 days by corporation policy or just by recommendations from folks such as myself saying, hey, you know, you really ought to change your password every so often. The fact is, I don't think you do. I think you need to change your password when there's a reason to change your password, but not because it happens to be a little old. If you're using OneDrive and you've got files in it and you want to delete those files from OneDrive itself, but you want to keep them on your computer, there are a couple of ways to do that. It's not necessarily obvious until you actually step through, in which case it turns out to be pretty darned easy. In our ongoing series on computer speed, why is my computer slow on startup? We'll review some of the scenarios that cause your computer to maybe be a little pokey when you start it up or log in. There's no TEH podcast this week. We record normally on Tuesdays, and this most recent Tuesday was, of course, Election Day here in the United States. We decided we'd probably be a little bit too distracted by all the goings on. In that vein, I definitely want to close by asking you all once again, not only to be kind to one another, but pay particular attention to the information that you're tempted to share online. Please, please don't share something that you're not absolutely positive is in fact correct, true. There is so much misinformation out there and the misinformation is intended to do really only two things. One, enrage and inflame you in order to get you to click more links, to view more ads, to visit more websites, and of course, to share it with your friends who will then presumably do the same. All of this, of course, is at the cost of the truth. So please take responsibility, take the time to make sure that what you're about to share, especially if it's something that really makes you angry, is in fact the truth. Until next week, I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Take care.